and fulfilled deals may be behind the Duterte's tirades versus Marcos, political analyst. Maaari na araw na hindi pinapanatili ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ang kanyang end of the bargain sa pagitan nga ng pamilya Duterte. Kaya naman nakakatanggap siya ng mga pag-atake mula sa ilang miyembro ng pamilya. Sinabi kasi ng isang political analyst na si Professor Dennis Corona Sean mula mismo sa Departamento ng Political Science ng Universidad ng Santo Tomas na maaaring tinatakan ng mga Marcos ang ilang kasunduan sa mga Duterte nang kumpinsihin nila ang dating Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte na maging running mate niya sa 2022 national elections. Sabi kasi sa mga balitang kumakalat ngayon sa mundo ng social media, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. may not be keeping his end of the park game with the Duterte family. That is why he is receiving attacks from some members of the family. A political analyst said Monday, Professor Dennis Coronacion from the University of Santo Tomas, Department of Political Science, said the Marcoses might have sealed some deals with the Duterte's when they were convincing then Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte to be his running mate during the 2022 national elections. Ang mga political alliances po natin are even political parties and coalitions. They are made up of elites. And when these elites from political parties or alliance, there is definitely political arrangement or negotiations that go along with it. Karana siya ang told ABS-CBN News. Itong rally sa Davao nitong Sunday, isa ito sa paraan ng Duterte family to remind the President of, you know, what took place during the negotiations during the last presidential election, he said. He said, the Davao City rally may have been meant to send a strong message that failing to honor previous agreements or further marginalizing Vice President Sara Duterte could lead to bigger problems. Corona Sean explained that it is possible that the Duterte family did not take it lightly when Congress removed the confidential funds of the two offices of Vice President Sara Duterte for the 2024. Speculations that the team from the International Criminal Court had already entered the country to investigate former President Duterte's drug war may also have agitated the Duterte's and their supporters. Marcus Jr.'s shooting back at the older Duterte might also be a sign that the uni team is crumbling. Mukhang lumalabas na napikon na rin ang Pangulo sa mga paratang sa kanya, lalo na doon sa pagkasama sa kanyang pangalan sa watch list ng mga sospek tungkol sa illegal drugs. He said, at this point, parang hindi maganda ang patutunguhan kung ibabasa natin doon sa reaksyon ng Pangulo. Hindi ito magandang sign para sa pagsasamahan nila. He added, further he said, if the situation worsens, Vice President Duterte's function as a concurrent education secretary will be affected. Iyong magpapamalakad halimbawa ni Vice President Sara Duterte sa DepEd, somehow baka maapektuhan iyon. For example, patuloy na kikipitin ang budget ng DepEd, o di kaya ang opisina ng Vice President. So kapag ganito na, masama na ang takbo ng kanilang relasyon. He explained, the Alliance of Concerned Teachers also expressed concern the passage of laws that will provide additional benefits and salary to teachers might also be compromised given the rift between the leaders of the House of Representatives and VP Duterte, who is also the concurrent education secretary. Walang pakinabang dito ang mamayang Pilipino. Iyong usapin ang sahod ngayon, nakasalang, lalo na usapin ang GAA 2024 at nakasapin ang salary standardization law. So technically, pwede makaapekto iyan. ACT National Chairperson Vladimir Quetoa said, The youth group also lamented how the political bickering affects governance 
and a giving of service to the Filipino people. Nagagalit po kami dahil habang natiling mataas ang presyo ng pilihin, habang maliliit ang sahod ng mga mangkakawa, at may kinakaharap tayong krisis sa transportasyon, pero kulang inaatupag ni Duterte at ng Marcos. At basically, ginagawa nila ito dahil sa pag-aagawan sa kapangyarihan. Kate Almenzo, an Aquinas National Spokesperson, said, Ang tala dito sa bartagula ng mga Marcos at Duterte ay ang mga mamamayan. She added, At sa naging isyong ito, ano ang yung naging reaksyon? Maging malaya magpikay ng kanilang personal na opinion sa comment section. Anyways, for more Chica Bay updates, don't forget to like and subscribe!